hello, this is Dr. No with Kit Focus Dentistry. Today we are gonna go over the exercise that for the older kids when we do a tongue tie release. We will also kind of show your child in the chair, but if you forget or have a, want to see a little bit more detail, please uh, refer back into this video. Or if you have any questions, just give us a call at Kit Focus Dentistry at 303. 543-8338. Just remember, um, the tongue heals extremely, extremely fast. Um, I found that within the first three days, that about 70% of the outer tissues is already healed. So the exercise for the, especially with the first three days is gonna be very, very important. The release itself is quite uh, easy and short. However, the exercise is what really determined the success. We will see you guys one week after we do the release. Um, at that time, I'm gonna go ahead and really show you uh, the deeper stretch um, because the outer layers had already at that time basically uh, almost 100% heal. However, the fiber underneath, that's what caused all the contraction. So we want to go ahead and do a deeper release to make sure we get that mobility that we were aiming for in the first place when we do the release. So first I'm gonna use the model to really show the limitations of a child that has a tongue tie. So it's very important that, especially in the beginning when you do the exercise and when you do the stretches, if you can do it in the front of the mirror with your child. So um, the reason why I have this model right here is we are trying to demonstrate a child that has a tongue tie. So when they have a tongue tie, this is all they can move. They don't know how to move any further. When we release that tongue, although the tongue can move up this way, this much higher, mentally they cannot visualize itself to do it so by working in front of the mirror is really gonna allow your child to see that they're able to do that and with these kind of exercise they're gonna slowly have that muscle memory so if you can all possibility especially the morning and the night stretch if you can do it in front of the mirror it's gonna be really helpful also remember to be quite patient with your child um, these motion they never learned to move it this high up before so something that seemed really very very um, simple for parents who doesn't have tongue tie um, it can be quite hard for your child if you don't have tongue tie and you have more range of motion it's always really nice to do the exercise with your child they can use you as an example to allow them to learn where to move so I have Miss Tori here. She's very nice to help us kind of demonstrate everything. So what I'm gonna use is a couple of things. I'm gonna use this thing, it's called a bite block. This is just more so for our purposes. It's just so then it helps the video so you can see things a little bit more. And then this is something else. This is a little stick that we are going to give um, to you um, after the appointment of the tongue tie release. We are just gonna pretend at this moment that I just released uh, the tongue tie for Miss Toy, and now I am going to teach your child how to that move the tongue up. So before we even start the treatment, uh, one of our assistants is gonna go over the basic of the exercise. So at this time, the beginning, we're gonna ask them to move the tongue around where we want them to do, but then we do it with in front of the mirror too. Um, after the treatment, I usually don't like to use the mirror because the side of the cut um, always kind of freaks the kid out a lot more than is really need to. So then therefore, uh, I will show it to you and you can watch this video, but not particularly show it directly to the child quite yet. Probably give it a couple of days. So I'm gonna go ahead first. I wanna put in the bite block right here. Um, so this just kind of helps seeing the tongue right there. So um, Tori, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the tongue down. So we're gonna pretend that, that Miss Tori cannot move the tongue very much. So usually the first thing that I do is I'm gonna use this to help give Miss Tori, who haven't really moved the tongue up very much, a point of, um, of where to put the tongue. So usually I would ask a kid if they like, right here we have 
the hazelnut. Um, I kind of like a little of something um, for them. You know, the taste usually draw the tongue on there. So if you have honey or anything else you want to put on the tip, it usually really helps. But at this point, right after the tongue tie release, between the tongue being numb and also, you know, your child probably have never moved the tongue before. If I ask them to go ahead and put the tongue up, they tend to just move the tongue forward and all the way around because they think that they are lifting it, but they are not. So what I use this is as an anchor point. What I do is I basically kind of tickle this a little bit. Um, so see, uh, Miss Tori, who doesn't have a tongue tie, already naturally want to move up. Mm -hmm. So um, once you do this, you're going to ask the child to move up. So some kids, they can do it like this, but most of them actually going to go just a little bit down here. So sometimes I have to kind of uh, tell them to touch this and move forward and then I move it up a little bit more and then go up like this Okay, I think this is important for the first day or two just so then once you do this right here The bot the tongue want to go up um, So then you want to do that couple of time on that once your child know how to stretch that tongue the most important thing is they need to be able to hold the finger on the bottom of the chin. So she's gonna hold the mirror right here and she's gonna hold this. The reason why this is very important because if we let this go, uh, most kids when you tell, tell them to move their tongue up, they're gonna want it to close like this and you're not getting that really nice stretch like this going up to the roof of the mouth. What they are doing, they're cheating, they move the distance closer than they're only doing this. So we're holding this down like this. We're gonna ask her to move up as high as she can and now you see that distance is a lot more. If you have a younger kid that's still fighting a lot on with you. Usually I prefer the first three days. What I do is go ahead and Tori open big for me. I'm actually gonna get mom to actually do the stretch for me by putting your two fingers like this back here and you're gonna push this up and you're gonna hold for the count of 10. You're gonna let it go and Miss Tori you can go ahead and swallow and then we're gonna do three times of that okay. Right before they eat they are gonna do three times, three sets of 10 count each of having their tongue up. In the morning at night, if your child's a little bit younger, they have a really hard time understanding holding this down. What you're gonna do it is in the morning, you're gonna do the count of stretch for them. And at nighttime, you're gonna do a count stretch for them. Right after you do that stretch, you're gonna take your thumb right here and you're gonna roll. You're gonna feel a little bit tightness. You're gonna roll. I know your child's gonna be uncomfortable. Roll for a ten of, uh, count of 10. That really gonna help stretch that tissues to heal really nicely. So if you're doing this really, really well for the first 10 days, um, you're gonna have a much easier time. Once the tissue, if it's not being stretched and got tightened and it's already getting scarring, the battle was really uphill. Uh, you're working 10 times harder to get a little bit more release of those fibers. So I know this is a lot that we're asking um, of you, but again, the whole point of us going through this tongue tie release is getting that motion so your child can be much better.